We've got our picker in place, but I'm really gonna nitpick here just a little bit and mention that this picker does not have a label, right? We don't actually say anything here like, hey, pick the employee shift. Users really need to know what they're selecting here, so we should really make sure that we have a label here as well. So to add in a label, we will make a separate component this time around, just because you know we have to kind of specify the days of the week here. It's a lot of customization for a reusable component. I think that this is maybe a reasonable case to just have the raw picker in here. To add in a label, we will need to import a text element from React Native as well. We'll place a text element in the card section right above the picker, and then we'll style it appropriately to make it look like a label. So up at the top, I'm going to import my text tag from React Native, and then back down right above the picker, we'll add in our text, oops. And I think it would be appropriate to just have this thing say shift. You can have it, you know, something more appropriate might be like select a shift, that might be good as well. And I'm gonna give it a style of styles.pickerTextStyle. Uh, maybe also picker label style might be appropriate as well. All right, we, we have not yet defined our styles object, so let's scroll down to the bottom and make sure we define that. So right above map state to props, say const styles is an object with a picker text style. This will have a font size of 18 and a padding left of 20. So just some something to dial up the size and the padding left is gonna make sure that it stands off from the left-hand side of the form and lines up nicely with the name and phone here as well. All right, let's do a quick refresh and see how this looks. So go to my ad form. Uh, hmm, interesting. So it looks like we definitely have the label on here. It's in a good spot. It has correct text, uh, correct size, everything looks good. But if you look down, now our picker is a little bit off center, whereas before it was nicely centered inside this card section. You can see that now it's kind of offset by the label that we put in here. The issue here is that the card section component has a style of flex direction row. If you recall, that means that all of the card section's children will be laid out going from left to right. So first there's the shift that takes up the full height of this thing, and then the next element in here will be placed to the right of that label. And that's exactly what happened with this picker right here. So for this particular card section, we really want to have a layout going from top to bottom or a flex direction of column. In other words, we want to override this very specific card section style with some custom style that we can pass into the card section right here as a prop. So we need to make sure we can override the styling inside of this very particular card section right here. So that's the goal. There's really no great uh, lead-in I can give you for the methodology here. This is definitely one of those places where we're gonna throw the code on the screen and then talk about how it works. So inside my employee create form, here's my card section. I'm gonna give it a prop of style. And then to that, I will pass an object with flex direction column. Now I want to point out to you that on all of the primitive elements that we've used so far, like text or picker or uh, touchable opacity, whatever it might have been. All of those accept a style prop and React Native internally makes use of that style prop. This card section here, however, it is, a it is a component that we put together and there is nearly no property that will be automatically consumed for us or automatically used when it's a component that we put together. So just because I added on style in here doesn't actually mean that it's going to do anything meaningful inside of the card section component. I have to open the card section component and make sure that I make use of this prop that I'm passing to the card section. And I have to do this because it is a component that we created. So I'm going to open up the card section. Here's my card section component. We haven't looked at this thing in a while, right? So now my props object, I'm going to expect it to maybe have a prop of style on there as well. So I need to somehow make use of that prop inside this component. Essentially what we want to do is take 
the styles.container style and then override it with any additional styles that were passed in on the props object. So this is another location where I'm gonna throw the code up and then we'll talk about what it's doing. I'm going to wrap the styles.container style with an array and as a second argument, I'll pass in props.style, excuse me, props, there we go, dot style. So this is a nice little trick with styling in React Native right here. Uh, the style prop that gets passed to any um, primitive element like a view or a text can take an array. If we pass in an array of styles, then the style most to the right will overwrite any style on the left. So nice little trick right here, right? What this does is it's gonna say, hey, use the container style, but if there's anything better being passed along on props.style, use that instead. So basically exactly fits our use case because by default, we want to have a flex direction of row unless we specifically pass an override of flex direction column. All right, so I'm gonna flip back over to employee create. I'm going to refresh my simulator and see how we look now. So I'll log back in. Go to my form and hot dog, this looks a lot better now. When the form starts off and it's on Monday, it does look like there's a lot of white space right here, but really that's, eh, you know, that's just how a picker with iOS works. Uh, once the user starts to scroll up, they're gonna see, oh, okay, that's why there, there's that white space right there. So certainly when I start to go to like Saturday, it is very clear why there's the white space above the Monday on the form. Okay, this looks good. I think we are finally just about ready to start saving the data that this form is producing. Let's take care of that in the next section.